Hi, I'm Yulia Panchenko and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to create a nude body figure image inspired by uh, Greek sculptures, by painting of Renaissance and other type of art. Jody is here with us today. She's going to help us to recreate this, this pose. And uh, by the way, we just released a course on a body figure and nude photography working with male, female and couples. So check it out. It's on our platform, Believe in Boudoir. Uh, so let's get started. And um, before we start, I want to go over my lighting setup to show you what exactly and how exactly I do to create that type of image. Uh, so. The idea is to make the image look flat. And to do that, I'm going to use my Elinchrome lights uh, with Elinchrome modif modifiers. I have two strip soft boxes positioned on both sides. And I also have an uh, Elinchrome Octabox. So my Octabox and my strip soft box is on one side. And that's to eliminate uh, all shadows that may, uh, may appear, especially on the legs. And here on this side, I have only one strip salt box. I don't have extra octa box for this, but I'm using a, a reflector on the other side. So that will help as well. Uh, in terms of the backdrop, this is just a simple seamless black paper backdrop. And I'm using this uh, tubes uh, that are actually covered with white fabric to create that type, some sort of, um, what is it called? Piedestal? No. Col no. <laughs> it's called platform? No? <laughs> what do the statue stand on? So, yeah, like a small platform. So that's the, the idea of this. Uh, so Jody is going to stand on it. And we're using fabric again to recreate that specific um, um, pose. So I'm going to start uh, posing and then I'm going to share uh, my camera settings with you guys, okay? So uh, Jody, if you can face the backdrop. Perfect. So I want you to relax your, your feet. So keep them flat for now, perfect. And grab the fabric and bend your elbow and bend your wrist as well. Perfect, yeah, that's beautiful. And let me just uh, make this drapery looks better. Mm -hmm. Bring this, yeah, back, perfect. Oh, and we want to maybe position it right on here so to have it connected with the tube. Beautiful, and lower it down. I don't know if you can, yeah, perfect. That's beautiful, you're gonna face this direction. Gorgeous, all right. So um, let me take a first shot, see how that looks. I think it looks beautiful already. Very good. Okay, and now Jody, I want you to bring that, uh, to hide your left arm, your hand, yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm or bring it cl closer to your body. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we can do that. Or like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see your elbow, but I don't wanna, kinda maybe here. All right. All right, that's perfect. So I'm shooting with uh, my Nikon D850 and 24 to 70 millimeter lens. My shutter is 200 of a second. Uh, my aperture is uh, it's f14 and um, um, my ISO is 100. And I'm gonna show you how to do basic uh, corrections in Lightroom for this specific image. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly give a statue look to this image using Lightroom and a very basic tools. So we're going to work with each individual color right here and because every uh, person has different skin tones. So I want to show you what each color does and we're going to desaturate each color and we're going to change its luminosity 
to make that lo uh, this image look even more flat. So we're starting from red colors. Red and, and orange are the main colors of the skin tone. So I'm going to bring a saturation all the way down and I'm going to increase luminosity here. And then we, we may go back and uh, see after we're done with all the colors, uh, colors to maybe work on luminosity again. So let's go ahead and do the same with the orange color. You see there's a lot of orange in the skin tone and we're gonna bring the luminosity up. We don't wanna lose her uh, te skin texture at all. So we may play a little bit more with luminosity on the orange. Um, I don't think anything will happen if we do uh, desaturate the yellow here, but let's still go ahead and do that. Same with greens. I don't think anything is changing. Um, let's check on blue. Yeah, I don't think blue, uh, this blue is, um, blue does anything. So we still have a little bit of magenta over here and um, we're gonna get to magenta pretty soon. So let's work on the blue. We're gonna desaturate blue and Let's see what luminosity does here. If I decrease luminosity uh, of my blue, we're actually bringing the um, tone or the texture of the fabric closer to uh, the tone, skin tone of my subject. So instead of increasing luminosity uh, and losing all the, the texture over here, I'm going to actually decrease luminosity of the blue. And saturation, yeah, we're going to decrease the saturation. We decrease the saturation here as well. So let's go ahead and do the same with the purple. Let's see, purple also, uh, there is a little bit of purple on the bottom, which I think I will go ahead and increase it a little bit. Let's decrease it and see what it does. Or no, actually, let's go ahead and decrease it. I think this looks much better with the luminosity decreased. And we're going to eliminate this magenta over here by uh, decreasing saturation of magenta. Okay, so that looks good. Yeah, somewhere here. So you have to play with this and see where exactly you have to decrease luminosity or inc increase. And um, of course, um, for all these colors, you can just decrease saturation to achieve more of a statue look uh, for the image. So now the skin tone of my subject is very close to the color and the texture of the fabric. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a small adjustment here with the basic tools. Uh, I'll start with my exposure just to see what it does. If I need to decrease my exposure, I think I'll keep it as it is for now. I'm not going to uh, touch contrast and maybe I'll decrease the uh, highlights. So because there's too much highlights on my fabric right here. So I'll increase shadows or decrease it. Let's see what that does. Um, by bringing shadows down, of course, I get some of the highlights on my backdrop. So if I, if you want, if you, you have the same problem, you can go ahead and decrease the, uh, bring the shadows down. We can bring uh, uh, whites up just a little bit. If you want to add a little bit more highlights to your image, and black can go all the way, not all the way, but a little bit down uh, just to make the background darker. And the clarity is going to go up. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with the image. I'll just go ahead and export this preset for you so you can download it and use it for your images. You just need to tweak it a little bit uh, depending again on the lighting and the skin tone you are working with. That's it for today's video. Enjoyed it. Thank you so much. You did amazing as always. And if you guys want to learn more about boudoir photography, nude photography, uh, couples nude, uh, females or male nude photography, posing for boudoir and lighting boudoir, please check on our courses on our platform. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.